Hey everybody, how you doing? Long time no see. Happy to be here. Two thumbs up. Hope you guys all had good Christmas and you got cool stuff planned for New Year's and all that jazz. <clears throat> cool. Let's get to it. I got some books. I wasn't planning on going to the store today, but we ended up in that neck of the woods. And uh, I'm going to show you what I got today. And I picked up some stuff last week, or I don't remember. I don't remember. I have some stuff I, I don't think I showed off. And I got some stuff from a friend of mine, uh, Funky Spaceman Island, who is like, you know, a real life. This is somebody I know, but he's also on YouTube, Funky Spaceman Island. Um, friend of mine, and he gave me some books for Christmas. So I'm going to show those two. And uh, I went to the shop today. We'll get to that. But yeah. Starting with a couple weeks ago, Don, the comic book junkie, um, showed the uh, Army of Darkness sketch cover in his video. And I just thought it was really cool. And it was a Colin Bunn book. And Hero Havens, the place he gets his books at, had an exclusive. And I was like, hey, man. Um, and you guys have seen Don's channel, so it's like, yeah, I picked up four of these. <laughs> cool. Not making fun of him. That's awesome. Um, I was like, you want to you want to do a trade? Because, I mean, I have some cool, like, variant stuff. You know, I think I still have an extra copy of that spread cover. And he's like, sure. And he sent me the books, and I was like, what are you looking for? And he's like, I was looking for this Power Woman. And I was like, okay, I'd I think they have some at the shop. I couldn't find it. He said no worries, but of course, I'm going to send him something when I get a minute. But he sent me, I got two of these, awesomenesses, and this one, I don't know if you can see it, is signed by the creative team, which I thought was just super cool. But yeah, I'm not sure if I showed that off or not, but again, Don, thank you. That's pretty cool. And I read it. It's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, my buddy, Funky Spaceman Island, Blake, gave me a uh, Batman vs. Predator. This is book one from the first series. And uh, Batman vs. Predator, round two. This is okay. Nah, this is yeah. But this one is actually really good. This is uh, written by Dave Gibbons. It, written by Dave Gibbons. And, um... The art is done by Andy and Adam Kubert. And I think, uh, yeah, Andy does the pencils and Adam does the inks and the lettering. And this is really, 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 really good. Um, I'm going to spoil it, so if you're, you don't want to hear how it ends, plug your ears. But it it's, uh, it's two and a half issues of Batman getting his ass kicked by the Predator. And then when the Predator goes to finally kill Batman, uh, Alfred comes in and saves the day. This is really, 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 really good. I recommend this. And it's some of my favorite uh, Andy Kubert. Adam Kubert? Adam. Let's find out. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Andy. Andy Kubert. This is some of my favorite stuff of his. This is really, 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 really good. And this awesome Arthur Sudan wraparound Batman versus Predator cover. Pretty cool. And it's a prestige. So, thanks again, Blake. And uh, I'm not sure if I showed this off, but I was super stoked to get this. This is the world. This is like the encyclopedia, source book, timeline, atlas of uh, East to West. The new issue of East to West comes out the 31st, and they're doing like, all together, they're going to have nine different covers. Seven of them linked together. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I don't know. You guys could have been talking about it for the last like three weeks on YouTube, and I just missed it. I'm sorry. But I'm stoked for that. Okay. What I got today. Um, I wasn't planning on going. I was just going to hold off and go on the 31st. But we ended up being out. Um, we did some shopping, and we were like a block from the shop. So I'm like, hey, drop me off. I'll come meet you guys. One of the kiddos went with me. He found some magic cards and kind of got bored while I was digging. But I did have 
quite a few books, quite a few in my box. So that was cool. But I did, uh, I did do a little digging before he got like super bored and I found some cool shit. But we'll start with the new books. Um, Revival number 26. Uh, I have a hole in my Revival. So I'm a little behind on that, but I'm looking forward to reading it. Which is number three. I heard this one was really good. I'm really digging it. So, yeah. Manifest Destiny number 12. I'm still buying this book, even though I keep saying I'm going to drop it. But, uh, it looks like somebody's in trouble. Sacagawea and her people. And as badass as she is in this book, then, you know, I'm sure that runs in the family. So somebody might be uh, hosed here. This is Fables number 147. Three more issues of Fables, people. Good stuff. Supreme, blah, su Supreme Blue Rose number five. Uh, I finally got the first issue of this and I read it and it makes a little bit more sense. I'm still not sure what the hell is going on. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Wicked and Divine number six. I might drop this, but my lady likes it, so I might just start getting them for her and give her my issues. It was good. I really liked uh, the Lucy character in this book. And she was really the only reason I picked up the last couple of issues. But she died, apparently, in the last one. So I don't know. But, yeah. Who knows? Could be good. Magneto, number 13. So glad Axis isn't written right here. They need to do something with the stupid band. But that's pretty cool. I'm stoked to read this. One of the books I'm the most excited about this week. Or that I picked up this week, I should say. I don't know if it came out this week. Sandman Overture number four. This book is really, really, really slow coming out, but it's also like incredibly awesome. Neil Gaiman, J. H. Williams the third, Dave Stewart art or colors. This book is awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. I also picked up uh for my lady, my little ponies, Friendship with Magic, number twenty six. Kind of like this homage, the good, bad, and the ugly cover. It's pretty cool. And I also uh, picked up Black Science number 11. Really like this book too. And The Bunker number 8. I'm missing a couple issues of this. Uh, I think like 2 and 6. And I have one of them. No, I'm miss you, missing issue 6. I have issue 6 in my, uh, my cart at mycomicshop.com so I'll be doing another huge haul from them here shortly but that was all at the shop today and on the way to the cash register because the kiddo that went with me got a little bored they had another table set up with um they don't have like wall books they have them all in a case and like this little tub but the case is too full so they took the the tub out and they just put it on this like uh card table with a couple other long boxes so I was just digging through like the other long boxes just to see you know, because I'm comic shopping. I'm sorry the kid got bored, but I'm like, you're going to have to give me a couple minutes because this might be some cool stuff. And I found uh, Alien vs. Predator, The Deadliest of the Species, number seven. This is Chris Claremont stuff. This is really, really, really good. Um, I've been picking these up when I've seen them. It's, it, you know, it's this is like one of those things I just look for in the wild. I love these books, and the art is really good, and it's, it's Chris, Chris Claremont. And this, I think, is one of the only the few uh, non-Marvel titles that he has written. So it's really cool. And it's Aliens vs. Predator, so why not? Awesome stuff. Two bucks. Which is less than cover. And then, oh, and they had so much cool stuff in this box, I ended up putting like a little, it was crazy. It was crazy. But I picked up uh, Swamp Thing, number 14, for three dollars. I couldn't believe it. That's pretty cool. Stoked to have that. And then this just like made my jaw drop. And they had a 
They also had some Aquaman, like way early Aquaman, but I don't know. I He wanted to get out of there, and I was like, I can't spend, you know, a crazy amount of money, and he found some stuff he wanted, so I knew I was already pushing like 80 bucks to get out of the shop today, but um, this is issue eight of the Spectre for four bucks. It looks good. There's a little, it looks like there's a, like a, like a dust shadow, maybe, but I mean, the spine's all right. It's not, you know, fine, maybe, but still, it's issue eight of the Spectre for four dollars. Minus my discount, so this is like three fifty. Why the hell not? Well, all right, peoples. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for the comments and Carlos, you're awesome. Don't worry about it. And Jesse, you're cool. And Scott, you're cool. We're cool. Everybody's cool. We're all cool. All right. Thanks. I'll see you guys later. Bye.